Hi guys, welcome back to Paper Confessions with Karami. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm back with a project share. This is for an open collaboration I'm hosting in my channel. It's called hashtag make your own. As you know, our community has grown and there has been so much creative inspiration here. And in the last year, I have been very kind of uh, slow to getting my projects going because of some roadblocks I've had personally in my own personal life. But I want to stay motivated and I thought this would be a great way to do it. So what's the collaboration about? Basically, you can post a process video uh, making a project that you were inspired by another creator here on YouTube or you can do a project share like I'm going to be doing a project share today. Tag that creator and uh, let's share and spread the word and, and spread the inspiration and just have fun crafting and creating. Now you guys know I'm a journal maker and so I wanted to make a journal inspired project and this particular project was inspired by Meg Journals who you probably already know. She has a tutorial on how to make a no sew journal. She used a big stash of paper ephemera and junk um, mail and it was so much fun to watch her make it. So I made my own version. When it comes to inspired work, I also like to recreate some of these items in my own style or put a little, you know, change in it. Um, you can definitely, definitely mirror it and make an exact project uh, depending on what the materials are. When it comes to junk journaling, it's not exactly the same. We don't have multiples of the ephemera and it's very random. So I'm going to be sharing a tall accordion flip-flop journal. It's a no-sew journal, super fun and easy to make. So Meg made like a four by six uh, and this one's a little taller. What I used was paper ephemera, some off cuts from previous projects and also used some stuff in my stash uh, paper. I used some packaging from Happy Mail that was given to me. This beautiful little uh, wrap here or trim was part of some Happy Mail. And I apologize if I don't remember who it's from. Uh, I had, when I get Happy Mail, uh, what I tend to do is I put them in a box and group the ephemera. And then, so this is where they all came from. And I was just randomly picking. So that's our closure. And I'm going to be using this for Junk Journal July. And I'm hoping to show you some of the things that I put in another video for the prompts. So this beautiful uh, collage here was on top of this craft paper that had a gift inside that was sent to me by BB's Closet Creation. So BB, thank you. Love the sentiment that she put here. And I added this butterfly on top uh, because BB loves butterflies. So I just wanted to put that on there. And then here we have a pocket. This tag came from my longtime pen pal, Sandra. I added some trim and inside I've attached the prompts for that challenge. So I'm going to be working on that. We have music paper, scrapbook paper. And then inside, this is a card that BB had sent me. Now I wanted to keep the message private. So what I did was I created an extension uh, using some paper scraps and washi for the hinge. And then on this side, I just matted the blank paper with grid paper and scrapbook paper. And then underneath here is her personal message to me. Here we have some music sheets and postcard and then i use some well, let me show you paper scraps to create a little collage for a writing spot and this was so much fun to make because you keep going and it just keeps going so here's some tim holtz paper and i love this because these were taller sheets of paper I think it was six by eight, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then we have this cute little kind of a greeting card. No, no, like a business card size that I got from Daiso. I thought this kitty cat was really cute as a little tux, tuck spot for our stationery. 
and I've had this in my stash. I think it was gifted to me as well. So I wanted to make sure I put it here so I could write an entry. And then look at this. Um, again, I forget who gave this to me, but beautiful die cut. I love dragonflies. So we have that. This piece here came from packaging, uh, from ephemera packaging. And we have a little pocket there with this uh, scrap of paper. This is an envelope. And so it goes over here with some old book pages and it is a cute little pocket with some of these stamped images in there that I can write in. I'm going to be, again, this is a naked journal, meaning I haven't really fully embellished it because I'm going to be doing it for our prompts for July. And then look at that paper. So this was an off cut from some scrapbooking project I did or actually a previous summer journal that I had made last year. So I had some extras. So I wanted to add that and you can see. So when I connect it, there is about an inch here extension. Then you start putting on your extensions of the pages so that it keeps going. We have some vintage uh, book pages, music page. And then over here, this is a cute little journaling card with birds. And then this was, oh my gosh, from another book page. And I think it was leftover. So I just added it. I just love the bird image. You guys know how much I love birds. We have cute little bees. And then I love the vintage handwriting on this scrapbook paper. This is from a, a calligraphy book that I got from Dollar Tree. And I just love the colors uh, against that craft paper or paper bag. You flip it over and I've added a fabric a hinge here with the Paisley print. This is from BB's Closet Creations. It's one of my favorite. I'm actually hoarding the rest because it's just so pretty. And then we have more of that paper there. I think this is left over from a digital. So I added that. And then beautiful scrapbook paper. You can see how empty it looks at the moment, but this is going to fill up. And then I love this one with the stamps. This is from a gardening uh, page. Did some distress inking. And then we have a little pocket here. Now for the pocket, I did some staples on the top and bottom. And then you'll see uh, this is an envelope from junk mail. And again, from a digital and then paper bag. So it's really fun just to use all these paper pieces, paper piece it, and then you have a page, an actual working page with these scraps. This beautiful, uh, was it wallpaper again, was gifted to me by BB's Closet Creation. It has some beautiful texture on it. And look at this calligraphy page. Let me just show you how pretty the colors are. Let's see? And you can see, so here I wanted to show you, they're not all even pages, and I love that. I don't like perfect lines. I love that there's different levels for our pages, and just so much fun, so much freedom when it comes to junk journaling. That's why I love it so much. Uh, and then here we have a little map, and you see how that connects from that envelope. And then see, these are much plainer and we are back to the front cover. So that is my make your own project share. I hope you enjoyed this little journal. It's a flip flop, no sew journal. I hope you guys can join in the fun. I'd love to see what types of inspiration you are finding in our creative community. I would love um, to see all your projects. So I'm hoping to at least post either once or twice a month, make a project and, uh, you know, uh, tag a friend that inspired me to do these projects and kind of uh, just keep it going. So I'm wishing you all a wonderful creative day. Stay inspired. I see you next time. Bye bye.